Hi again, everyone. This video is sponsored by Contribution from Anonymous, and here's her story. My mom is a narc, a covert narc. She was not stable. I was expected to take care of her for life. I was not allowed to go anywhere. I was the girl, you see. Brother was the golden child, flying monkey. She used to bully me and keep me in line. He was supposed to go on and have a family. I was supposed to take care of my mom for life. My father was orphaned at an early age. At least dad opposed the narc abuse and supported my hobbies and interests. He bought me lessons and instruments to play. My brother was super talented and handsome. He was well known and popular in my town. He was extremely well known and praised so much. I was nothing. Nobody noticed me. My father supported my brother but would try to deflate his huge ego. Needless to say, my father was not popular with my brother. My brother spent time with my uncle, who inflated his ego to even greater proportions. The aunt and the uncle and aunt belittled me. They told me we don't like girls. They never cared about any of my interests. They tried to force me to play sports to bring the aunt and uncle glory. I refused. Two of my relatives saw what was being done to me, and they tried to help. My brother bullied me so much I was suicidal. I never told any way, anyone the way he was so cruel to me. My dad tried to get me help and wanted to try marriage counseling. My mom refused. I was dropped off. I was dropped off a psychologist to fix me. At a psychologist to fix me. None of this helped. They gave me drugs. I was the bad one. I eventually threw the drugs away years later because I discovered there was nothing wrong with me. <clears throat> I had panicked attacks when playing music. I was afraid of being too good because then I would get bullied. My brother ruined all my relationships with boys. I was told that I was supposed to be sexless. He really believed that. He had lots of girlfriends and, in my opinion, was a womanizer. Well, I did the unthinkable and met a really nice man and got married. My brother and his wife tried to ruin my relationship with my husband. My dad encouraged my relationship and tried to help me. My brother also got married. He married a huge narc. I kept get I kept getting better and better. My kids were nice. My brother belittled my children and wanted to watch them. I maintained low contact and there was no way in hell my kids were going over there alone. Once my little girl made a mess, she was a toddler. I told her to pick up pick up her mess. She picked it up but also had a tantrum. My brother was so angry and wanted to slap her. I said no. I didn't care if, he, if if kid threw a tantrum as long as she picked up her toys. I didn't care. I was not going to punish her for a tantrum. My brother's wife treated everyone like hell. I guess brother didn't didn't care as long as it wasn't directed towards him. My dad gave me control over most of his assets so I could take care of my mom and dad. My brother laughed in my face when I asked him to help me after my dad had a heart attack. At the time, I was pregnant within two weeks of delivery. I had a three-year-old and I had the flu. My husband was out of town due to a family emergency. I had to go to the hospital to help mom and dad. My brother did not show up. Once, once told my brother and his wife that I would watch their kids so I, so I could go on vacation. Once told my brother and his wife that I would watch his kids. I'm sorry, I would watch his kids so so they could go on vacation. My mom got sick and was in the hospital. I had one. Oh, so she could go on. This, this isn't written right. Once I told my brother and his wife that I would watch their kids so I could go on vacation. One of them's. I'm not sure who. My mom got sick and was in the hospital. I had a one-year-old and a four-year-old. I told them I could not do it. Oh, I see. Once, I, so so they the brother asked her to watch the kids. Okay. I told them I could not do it. They verbally abused me, and that was the last straw. I stopped contacting them. I would see them about three times a year and basically tell them nothing. My brother wouldn't even call me back if I had call if I had to call him for something. Well, finally, brother's narc wife left him. He, he came to my mom and dad's house after the divorce. My dad said he couldn't stay because he was drinking excessively. My brother gaslighted my dad and said that my dad was senile. 
My brother said he wasn't drinking. My dad died a year later. My brother came to my house. He stayed for two weeks and then finally moved into his own place. I didn't see him much after that. My brother cut my dad completely out. While he was at my house, he acted strangely. There's a liquor store across the street. Looking back on it, I think he was drinking at night. So for eight years, my brother would call me and sometimes verbally abuse me and cry on the phone. He lost his job. He asked to come live at my house. I said no. I had taken care of my mom in my home for four years and after taking care of my dad in his last, in his last illness. Finally, my mom moved into assisted living. I still had to go over there and take care of her sometimes. I pay a lot of money for assisted living. It's the money my dad left. I was never allowed to see my brother's kids. Well, they started calling me to come fix my brother. Nobody told me. Nobody told me what was wrong. I told them it's not my job. I finally went down to see him. He was in hospital. He was in the hospital with severe liver damage due to his drinking. I saw him one time, one last time before he died. My brother left his friend in charge and left him most of his estate. He wanted no funeral service. I was not allowed to see the body. The friend told me to pay out $1,400 for cre cremation. I paid to be rid of them all. Oh, I wanted no contact. I haven't told them, but I'm going to keep the estate of what is left after my mom passes away. I took care of her alone, so I think I deserve some compensation. I don't intend to give my brother's kids anything. Those adult kids didn't even call my mom for four years. They're all abusing drugs. They wasted the money that my dad gave them after his death. My brother told everyone that my dad was an alcoholic and a beater. Neither, he was neither of those things. My brother also lied about me and said that I wouldn't help him because I wouldn't let him live in, live in my house and continue his behaviors. The friend believes everything and, gets, and he gets most of the estate. My brother only left his kids a little money. I have survivor guilt. I think it was my brother's fault that he acted this way. I am relieved he will not torment my children. Ollie, is there some help for some survivor guilt? Please keep me anonymous. I would say this letter is a pretty good remedy for survivor guilt. What exactly are you feeling guilty over? Or is this the guilt over the guilt you don't feel? I think that's probably more likely. I don't think survivor guilt is real in a lot of cases. I think survivor guilt, and I did a video about this a long time ago, a long, long time ago. It's probably one of the original 50. It's the guilt over the guilt you don't feel or you should feel. You don't have enough guilt to give the kids money, right? So what is exactly this guilt? It's not guilt over him. Look how he's treated you your entire life. Bullied you, bullied your mom and dad, bullied your dad after a heart, after heart attacks and an illness and the weakest time. And then every time he fucked up and he needed something, he'd come crawling back and abuse more and then skip, right? And let me tell you something, that thing where you're not allowed to have a wife and all that overprotective brother shit to that extent sounds to me like he has some other psychological problems going on up there as well. This isn't, this isn't survivor guilt. This is guilt over the guilt you don't feel. And the reason why you don't feel any guilt is there's no reason to. So you're a decent person, so you feel naturally like, why don't I feel guilt over this? Why am I not having a natural reaction? That ain't it. It's because you think maybe there's something flawed with you. This isn't about him, this is about you. And you have no reason to feel guilty. The guilt over the guilt you don't feel. 
survivor guilt isn't real a lot of times. It's not. It's a lack of closure. It's a lack of being saying what's being able to say what you want to say. What do you have to feel guilty about? Nothing. So don't. Thank you for your contribution and story. I really appreciate it. I hope this helps. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any advice or opinions in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a narcissist you'd like to expose or a topic you'd like me to cover, you know what to do with the PayPal link and the email link in the description box. And remember, when you do email me your story, please put at the top of the email, whether it's with or without contribution, and what name you'd like to go by. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon.